Well, as the president looks to take charge of the health care debate in Washington, some of his supporters are mounting a new effort to silence critics of the Democrats' plan. You are about to see some amateur video shot outside of a town hall event for Illinois Democrat Jan Schakowsky. It shows an organizer from the left-wing pro-reform group Healthcare for America Now. Remember, we had a representative from this group on this show, and we talked to him about how he was coordinating with some top Democrats to provide cover for them at these town hall meetings. Well, this is another guy from Healthcare uh, for America Now. Take a listen to this guy giving lessons on how to make sure those in attendance do not get the chance to question the Democrats' plan. Yes, civil, but stand up and... So if they stand up and start asking questions, and you're in that area, simply stand up and start. You know, they'll start yelling, chanting "Healthcare now, Healthcare now, Healthcare now." So if we stand up, what is that? It's the idea of keeping the camera away from them, so they can't be seen by the camera. So because the, before they're yelling, and everybody else has got their heads down, towering at their feet. So the whole idea is simply to stand. If we have banners, we hold our sides. So if we have sides, we'll be able to hold up our sides in front of them. The whole idea is to is to deflect and not confront. So it's the idea. Yeah, you people, why won't you? Then it's simply stand up. Health care now. Health care now. And until they get frustrated, and then they'll take their cookies a little bit. Uh, so not confront, but it's your meeting. Hold on to your meeting. Well, the two top Democrats in both the House and the Senate uh, have accused those who get upset at these town hall meetings of being un-American uh, or being angry mobs, we've heard from the Democratic National Committee. We've heard all sorts of things from Nancy Pelosi and Steny Hoyer and Harry Reid and others. Uh, many folks who oppose health care reform are trying to stifle debate at these town halls. So what would they say about what we just saw? Joel Pollack is the Harvard Law School grad who actually shot that amateur video and attended the town hall. He's my guest now. Hi, Joel. Hi, good morning to Gateway Pundit, which I guess is, uh, where, well, that's, that's how we found it in any event. Joel, uh, I want to ask you, you show up at this town hall, Jan Schakowsky is your representative, you want to make your positions known on the health care reform bill, and then you see this guy who we know works for Health Care for uh, America Now, this group that has been active at these town halls that is trying to organize members who favor health care reform to essentially silence the critics, and there's really no doubt about it. We had a representative from that from that group on this show before. What specifically did you see and hear this guy say that caught your attention? Well, as we were standing outside, lining up to enter the building, there were a large number of organizers going back and forth, handing out stickers and telling people what to do. And there were some people who are opposed to the health care bill currently before Congress who took stickers because they were afraid that if they didn't put a sticker on, they wouldn't be called on inside the meeting. So there was an atmosphere of tension there. Even though people were very friendly to each other in line, there were a lot of organizers basically walking around and asking people, which side are you on, rather than actually listening to people's opinions. And this guy, you know, we heard what he was telling people to do, uh, to, to drown out the opposition. So if somebody got up and asked a question, that's what he said, uh, who somebody who appeared opposed to the reform bill for the health care for America now people to stand up and drown them out uh, you know the, part, and what also was the part there was that another guy's organizer that you took issue with well the part that bothered me the most is at the end when he says it's your meeting hold on to your meeting and actually it's our meeting the people who live in the district it was our chance to tell congresswoman Schakowsky how we felt about health care reform and what HCAN and Organizing for America and the SEIU were doing was making sure that we didn't have that chance that they got to present their side and that if we had a question about what was going on that we were drowned out and that really made me angry and in fact I've seen that anger all across the country I was traveling this summer on a book tour and a lot of people are very upset not just about the health care reform bill but about the fact that they've been demonized and marginalized and called a mob and everything else simply for stating an opinion and having a question. And a lot of people around me have said, you know what, we're tired of this. We want someone in Washington who will listen to us instead of lecture to us. And so I've actually decided after my experience on Monday night 
that I'm going to run for Congress in the 9th District and represent the people of my district as we try to get ourselves heard in Washington. Well, well Joel, making, uh, making a bit of an announcement on our show this, this morning. All the best to you, Joel. Thank you so much for coming on.